Anne from Game Like a Mother. Today I'm going to show you how to play the Scrambled States of America game by GameRite. It's ages 8 and up, 2 to 4 players, and it takes 20 minutes. Let me show you how to play. When you open up the game, I highly recommend reading the little book that comes with it that tells the story of the Scrambled States of America. It is very good and sets you up for having fun playing the game. Next, you lay out the red scramble deck and the blue states deck and we have a three player game set up here and each player is given five state cards. Uh, they are also given, uh, each player is supposed to get their own map of the United States. We're just placing out here um, for purposes of this demonstration but each player can have their very own in front of them as they play. Take some time at the beginning to familiarize yourself with your United States cards. There are um, the name of the state, a picture of the state along with color, um, a state capital, and a state nickname. Uh, when everybody is ready to begin to play, the person to the left of the dealer is supposed to flip over the first scramble card. There are two types of scramble cards. There is find it and go the distance. Most of them are find it cards. Uh, and when one of those are flipped over, uh, you all read the card and this says nickname starts with an H, K, or L. And then if you just know it, you can go ahead and slap. So we'll say this player slapped right away and they say Arkansas. Uh, because Arkansas's nickname is the land of opportunity. If they are correct, they collect their card and start a little collection of collected state cards and they get to refill their stack and then they flip over the next scrambled card, which is capital starts with an A or a B. Uh, this person is going to slap because they have Maryland. So they will say they slapped first, but if you mess up. Sometimes you can mess up and you say um, uh, Ohio instead. You say the wrong state or you just don't say the name of your state. That is a slip slap and if you're playing very serious rules then if they have any collected home cards you're supposed to, so if they had a stack already collected over here, if you mess up you're supposed to take one of your state cards and put it back in the bottom of the deck over here. Sometimes, oftentimes, more than one player has a match for whatever the scrambled card is. So if this player and this player at the same time had realized that um, Annapolis for Maryland and Baton Rouge for Louisiana worked, they if they slapped simultaneously and said their state names, then they both would get to collect their states simultaneously and refill their lineup of states. Uh, sometimes no one matches whatever the prompt is out here. If that happens, then each player gets to select one of their state cards and pass it to the left. So you could pick whatever one you wanted, pass it on to the next person, and it just mixes things up a little bit even if um, nothing matches whatever the prompt card was out here. A few more examples of find it cards are, uh, it, they can be whether or not your state is red, um, if it touches Tennessee, Tennessee has a lot of states surrounding it, uh, state has four more syllables in its name, capital has a person's first name in it, or if the face on your state is showing teeth, those are all different reasons to slap in and say a state name. The other card that can pop up is a go the distance card. If this comes up, then you flip over the top card on the state's pile and uh, you look at the cards you have and whichever, if you have a state that's close to that state, you push it forward. So this player would probably push forward Kansas, although um, Nebraska does touch uh, Missouri just a little bit. And then maybe this player a minute later realizes, oh, Iowa is also right next to Missouri. If there are multiple players that have equally close states, uh, then the person who pushed their car for, card forward first would win. Uh, 
And sometimes if it's not directly next to the state that came up, you can use this to measure. The card also has a little measuring device on it, so you can use that if you need it. So whoever's closest gets to collect their card and the card that showed up and put it in their pile and then restock. The game continues until the state deck is depleted. So we'll say most of these have been collected. These two players are done really, really well. And if you flip over this card, which says uh, touches two or more states directly below it, and this person says Nebraska and collects this card. Once this final card is in front of somebody and there are, there are no more cards in the deck, that's when you stop the game and um, count up the number of uh, state cards have collected, have been collected, and whoever has the most is the winner. So that's how to play the Scrambled States of America game. If you're looking for a way for your children to learn about U.S. geography and actually like it, uh, this is your game. Thanks and see you next time from Game Like a Mother.